two of waking up without the weasel. Strange. But kind of quiet at the same time and almost a little bit nice, don't tell them. But I don't have to go out there and walk them around the parking lot first thing in the morning. I can just pretty much get myself ready and go straight to work. But if I'm being honest, I would rather get out there in the cold and walk them around the parking lot once. But I'm fine. I'm fine. First thing in the morning, we're here in Black River Falls, Wisconsin. I gotta go down the road. Oh, there's my alarm telling me to get up. I'm already up. Way ahead of you. I gotta go down the road to Warren's, Wisconsin, deliver this lumber that I have on my trailer. And I head down to Gary, Indiana and try to get there before end of day so that I can get loaded today yet. I kind of have a feeling though that I'm gonna get loaded first thing tomorrow morning, but we'll see. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I make a new video every day I'm on the road. I've been making new videos almost every day since what, 2012? So there's a little bit to catch up on if you're new, but glad you're here now. We've been here several times. Nice little town, just off the freeway. You'd never know it was here unless you stopped in. Quiet little town on the lake. But you wouldn't even know the interstate was there if you didn't go that way either. So it's a nice little spot here, nice little hidden gem. Not sure how many people live here, but it can't be that many. Maybe a hundred, maybe two hundred. I don't know, it's hard to tell because if I can't see anything really off Main Street here. It's the kind of community that I like, the little small... If 200 meters, small turn right on Market Street, CRO. Sorry if my voice has been a little quieter. The last couple of days, I gotta speak up. I keep forgetting to speak up because I'm not using my mic because it was giving us all that audio trouble. And here we wait. And that guy over there snuck in before me, yep. But it is what it is. He just came and acknowledged that uh, he knew I was here, asked who I was, what I was doing here. I told him who I was and what I was doing here. And he said, okay, good, we were expecting you. We're glad you're here. Indeed. Other hand. Other hand. Anyway, so uh, I just gotta wait till they have a spot open for me here. I'm gonna go and park in the spot, take my straps off. They're gonna take the lumber off my trailer, which is great because it's heavy. I don't want it anymore. And then we're gonna go to Gary, Indiana and see if we can get loaded today or not yet. We are... If I would leave here right now without stopping, 
My GPS, Karen, is telling me I'd be there around 2. So I have my doubts, because I'll, I'll have to stop at least once. And there's always traffic to add on to that. Gotta go around Chicago. So we'll see what happens. It's time to stop and go wash my hands. I'm trying to make sure that I uh, stop a lot more Continue often than regular. Continue on this road for 40 kilometers. No, we're gonna wash our hands first. Uh, let's see, where should I park? There's a lot of parking spots here. park because I'm lazy close to the building what I'm allowed to be lazy every now and then okay not all the time just now and then there we go Come on here and wash my face as well but these rest areas don't have uh, cloths to dry your or paper towels to dry your face with so I always bring my own in well we're putzing our way around Chicago Got the windows rolled up, not getting out of the truck. Why is that guy stopping? Well, I guess there's a little stoplight there, but that makes sense. So we're on Interstate 290 right now. Karen wants to take me downtown. She is just hell-bent on taking me downtown, and I keep saying no. She wanted me to go down I-94 all the way through downtown Chicago again. I told her I don't want to go down there. Too many people. In four kilometers, keep to the left on by 290 East. All kinds of germs and virus and bacteria going on downtown. I don't want to go down there. I want to stay out here where the traffic's not so heavy. So I took the two, the I-290 against her wishes, right? She got mad at me, yelled at me for a bit. And now she wants me to take I-290 East right into downtown and then take I-94 from there. No, I want to take I-294 South from here. I was fighting with her all the way around here. She's telling me to turn left in two miles. And I'm just gonna go straight. Okay, I'm the boss. Oh, that guy's steer tire just blew out over there on the other side. Oh man, that sucks. That's happened to me before. That sucks. Oh, and this guy broke down here too. Oh boy. Oh, that's a terrible stretch of road right there. You might wanna avoid that. Bad luck. Yikes. So we have. About an hour until we'll be at the customer. I called them, they're gonna be there, they're gonna load me today. So I think it's like one of those moving platforms that I'm loading, I'm not too sure. It's sort of like one of those that extended, it's got the little people box at the top, and then you can lift the people up to high places and you know, drive it around. You know what I mean? I, I, I moved one of them a little while ago already. Yeah, this is where I gotta turn, right? South, 294. Yes, we want to go towards Indiana, not towards Chicago. Karen's going to be so mad at me. That's right, Karen, I'm the boss. So I moved one of these things before, since I had tracks, and I brought it up to uh, Saskatchewan. No, I brought it up to somewhere in Canada. This one I'm bringing to Toronto. In 600 meters, keep to the left on I-294 South. go finally we're on the same page in 400 meters keep to the left on by 294 uh, south yeah. trips only. Still a lot of people out here making essential trips. 
but for the most part there's a lot more space for us truckers to spread out here finally it's kind of nice to have some space to breathe going through here it's definitely less traffic than usual from when i've driven through here whether or not that's just a coincidence i don't know but all I'm saying is I didn't have to slow down once going all the way around Chicago. Not once did I come up to some traffic. Just sailed right through at like 2 in the afternoon on a Monday. It's 2.30, we're out the other side. I like it. Well, there we go. That's what I was talking about. See, the last time I hauled up to Canada had the, had the tracks, right? This one's just got the regular wheels. That's it. It's going from here to Toronto. And they want it there day after tomorrow. So I still got quite a bit of time. I can make my way today yet. And cross back into Canada. Not too bad. Pretty easy to tie down. Nice load. While we're here in Gary. Pull into the flying Make a U-turn if possible. Oh, it's possible, Karen. I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not. I haven't decided yet. We'll get some go-go juice. And DEF's running a little bit lower too. I'm trying to keep my tanks topped off as much as I can, especially in these times, because you never know if suddenly I'll get the order to beeline it straight home. You never know. You never know. Crazy pandemic. So, uh, don't forget while you're at the pumps here to either wear gloves or wash your hands or sanitize your hands right after using the pumps. This is a, a big breeding ground for germs, evil viruses from the pits of hell all over the pumps here. So you gotta be careful. You can touch them with your bare hands and you can do whatever you want. I'd touch them with my bare hands, just don't touch your face until you wash your hands and don't touch anything that you might touch later. It's easiest just to wear gloves. And yeah, I'm gonna wear gloves. Why, why would I do this barehanded? That's weird. That's dangerous. I'm not a dangerous kind of guy. Maybe I am, not today. Not today. We're right near Ann Arbor, Michigan right now and there's a pilot, a TA, and another pilot across the road. I'm gonna see if I can pull in one of these and see if I can find a parking spot here. I doubt it. It's what, 10 o'clock? 10.30 here? 9.30? It'd be really nice if we could find a spot here. Got a bobtail taking up a full spot right there. Thank you very much. Got a pickup truck in there. Thank you very much. No, I don't think there'll be any spots here. I'm gonna have to go across. I was hoping to be able to use their Wi Fi tonight, you know? Oh, they got reserved spots that you can pay for over there. Hey, how about we make all the bobtails pay for a spot and put them all in over there? Taking up a full spot, not very nice. I'm not paying to park. That is my rule. I do not pay to park. Okay, we're on the other side here. Maybe I'm just a little cranky because I didn't want to stop yet. I got, oh, this is where we enter here. Trucks enter right here. Okay, I didn't want to stop yet. I still had lots of energy, but there's nowhere to park. Uh, closer or further from here, I'd run out of hours before getting to another good place to park. So, figured I'd come sniff around, see if there's anything good at the truck stop here. So Found a place to park. Didn't think it was that late yet, but this truck stop's interesting because they got it's parking way over here on this side. Oh, is this a spot? No, that's a pay spot. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Sometimes you wonder, you know, would they, would they know? <laughs> oh, there's lots of spots open here. Check this out. Nice. Nice. Okay, I'm just gonna go turn around here and uh, yeah, we got plenty of spots to park here. sniff around the rest of the lot first, see if there's a better spot. I think I found the one I want. I'm like a dog. I have to circle the lot three times before I lay down. 